Hello world, Craziness Gaming here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to take down Tempered Double Joes, because a lot of people apparently are still struggling with this, so here's how I do it. First of all, this is the loadout that I'm going to run with right now for items. You got your uh, pods and obviously all your power charms and traps, every health potion, boost, things like that, and old berries if you feel like it. Equipment wise, because I'm a charge blade class, so this is what I'm running with, just in case you're curious, I'm going to run through it quickly. It's not really an armor tutorial, so I'm not going to spend too much time here doing that, but it's the armor that I'm running in particular, and the weapon, charm, booster, mantle. Decorations I'm using real quickly, got the vitality jewel. Tenderizer, I probably don't need this critical jewel anymore, so I'm going to switch that out, obviously, for my Elementless, because you need that on this build. Especially whenever you're using this weapon, you need Elementless. But Vitality will come in handy for that extra health. Bad enough going there, low health as it is, and every hit can almost kill you, and, you know, unless you're going to have a flawless run, you're going to want that extra health boost, but... Here's everything I got with the armor and the gems all together. Just going to run through this real quickly. You guys can pause it, look at it, read it, do whatever you need to do here, but I'm not going to really go over it. On elemental right there at the end for the huge damage boost. Alright, then we're going to work our way over here. And we're going to change one more thing before we leave. So I'll check this real quick. Uh, blah 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 blah. And they're still out for a while. Alright. So with your Palico, the gear you want him to have, again, is up to you. I just run Nergigante stuff for equipment, but his gear here. Now Coral Orchestra would probably be a good one for a lot of boosts and stuff like that. They're always randomized but it wouldn't be bad. Shield Spire might not actually be bad either because he would draw Devil Joe's attention and if you plan on getting hit a lot then the Vigor Wasp would probably be pretty good as well for getting heals down constantly but for this one we're gonna use the Flashfly Cage and Thunderbug Cage because the more stuns I can get by blinding them, and the more traps we can get down and electrocute them, the more things we can do to them. So I'm going to take these because I'm not too worried about getting hit. If I thought I was going to get hit a lot, then I'd probably take the Vigor Wasp because that'd probably be the next choice for having heals down because the cat would always heal you, you know, as opposed to having to do it yourself all the time. I mean, it's not guaranteed, but it would help for the cat. Oh, I keep saying cat, but the palico to come over and give you a hand randomly without you having to call for him. But anywho, one other thing that could definitely help, we're going to take some of these with us. You know, pretend like this is a uh, tempered elder dragon quest here, and we're going to take some powders and some demon drugs and the mega armor I mean they're both megas you know if you guys have megas take the megas if you don't have the mega versions that's fine just take the regular ones they will last the whole time that you are still alive but if you faint you'll have to do them again as far as the powders go those are the only other ones I take I know you can do the seeds as well too but the armor seed and the power seed only last like 20 seconds I believe so it's not Unless you know you're like, oh, I eat this real quick and drop an ultimate on his head or something, then sure, it'll probably be great for that. But I'm not worried about it. The powders will last only 30 minutes. Now something else you definitely want to do, I'm using a voucher here for the Moxie. If you don't know about this, then everyone should be doing this, especially if you guys are in teams. If you come here, go to the defense page where the blue fishes are, so that way you're in the blue tree right here, get the meat, uh, feline Moxie. 
and get all six of these guys right here. I get a large defense up, and with the voucher being used, there's a guaranteed of all the skills. Now I have Feline Moxie. And if you don't know what this does, is it basically gives you another free cart, practically. Like, if you have three feints now, well, now you have four. If you guys have a hard enough time staying alive as it is, you should all be using this. Especially the ones in groups, this is why I do this mostly solo, because I can't stand you guys that don't know what they're doing going after a de tempered Devil Joe. He's an asshole as it is, we don't need you making it harder. Everyone, if there's four people there and you're all using a moxie, you guys have, what is that, four, five, six, you have seven feints. I mean, that's more than enough to get you through the battle. But nobody seems to use the moxie and everybody seems to die constantly. <laughs> nobody knows how to fight this thing. He's easy. I mean, you gotta know what you're doing, but if you know what you're doing, he's easy. So I'm breaking it down for you. One thing you're probably not gonna like, especially if you don't use it, you guys need a defense class. This is not an aggressor battle. If you're going to be using weapons that are aggressive attacks that don't have defense, i.e. a shield, you're going to die again because you need to block some of his attacks. Sometimes you just can't get out of the way. If you cannot defend against it, he is going to slam the hell out of you. <laughs> So, learn a shield class. I would suggest charge blade or javelin or gun blade or the gun spear, you know, things like that that have a big shield. You can use other ones like the great sword and sword and shield, I suppose, but their defense isn't that great. You might be able to like withstand the blow, but you're going to get messed up still. Something that can definitely take a hit, you know. You can do it with other classes. I mean, there are definitely pros out there that can destroy things regardless of what class they choose because they've worked with it, so. But I'm telling you right now, you're gonna need something to block with. If you're not good at fighting them as it is, get a defense class. Now moving on from that, you guys wanna get as many mounts as possible because these are all free hits, free damage. You know, he's already hard enough that it is, and sometimes you guys have a hard enough time putting the hits where it matters. Well, these are all free hits. He can't even shake you off if you know what you're doing. Every time the screen goes red, you're not even going to see me hold the Brace Myself button. I'm just constantly transitioning back and forth from parts of him. Because as long as you bounce back and forth from part to part, he's doing a head attack to get you off his head. Well, if you jump back to his back, then the head attack's no longer going to work. I happen to get lucky right here that he happened to fall next to a frog. I was going to wait till he got up before I used this, but again, use your inventor mo- Wow. Du -du -du -du. <laughs> Words are difficult. The struggle is real, guys. Use your environmental traps. That frog right there? Great trap. We're in a great area that's full of frogs. I know I can use them a couple times if I get them in the right place, so... And I got my, uh... Rocksteady Mantle on, another necessity, if you guys don't have this yet, go get it. It reduces the amount of damage he can do to me, and I don't get staggered or stunned or knocked over anymore as long as it's still active. So, I mean, not being thrown off my attack is a huge plus. The fact that it does, like, a defense bonus, like, things like that barely even hurt me. I mean, now it did, but because it wore off. But when it doesn't hurt me, you know extra bonus but I really I was just doing it so I don't get staggered or thrown out of an attack if you need to get some distance from him you see me slide down the hill just to you know reget my bearings over here get this down preemptive that because I know he's on the way so he's gonna come over here just as the frog pops into another paralyze you know if I wasn't here obviously the paralyze wouldn't be an option but because I happen to be fighting him here well this is what we're using we're using the environment Without even telling the Palico to, he just dropped the trap, so now he's in back-to-back -back stun right now. Again, if you guys are worried about getting hurt more, probably go with health or whatever for your Palico, but in this case, I knew I was going to get messed up because as long as I fight him solo, I'm never going to die. You know, I don't have to worry about loss of faints because everybody else drags me down by dying every five seconds they come out of a campsite. <laughs> I'm going to do this awesome fail. Sure it won't be the last time in this video. Swing properly this time and jump to the ledge. Thank you. 
I make sure to have my flash pods on because those are kind of more of emergency things. I can't tell you guys when to use them. You hopefully will know when the time comes, when something is happening. You're like, now's the time. That's basically what I'm waiting for is light bulb. And then I'm like, oh, now he's a flashbang because he's about to mess me up or like, it's my get out of danger free card almost. <laughs> Even though you're still not in danger, I'd suggest putting some space between you and him, because blind or not, he still has quite, like, an AoE attack with almost everything he does, so if you're close to him, even as he's blind, he still might hit you anyway. Palico throwing down another trap for me. This time I called that one out. I wanted to get one here as soon as we got here. Don't forget to use your Thunderbug cages if you're using it. Speaking of fails I was talking about, there's another fail at trying to get a guard point. Try not to screw that up if you have guard points like I do. But guard points are wonderful things. Especially if your shield is already glowing, you're going to do stun damage to him when you guard point him. You could actually knock him out from a guard point, I've seen it happen. I normally guard point pretty well, I think, you know... I'll try to do a little bit better for the rest of this film. I kind of screwed that one up, but normally it's not a problem for me. Sometimes I do throw it too early. His dragon breath, I expect it to come faster than it does sometimes. But Get another trap down, get another blind out, put a little distance between you and him because you don't know what he's going to do. You know, that way you can prepare for something if he does something, then a jump or tail swipe like that, because everyone gets nailed by that tail. You always underestimate how long his tail is until he's, like, shoulder-checking you into hell. Because sometimes I've seen him spam that one and just break to people's deaths a couple times. Here's a guard point right there. Helps me get out without being staggered for a long time. If I had an ultimate, you can guard point straight into an ultimate attack. Also comes in handy. I'm being extra careful with that tail because I always underestimate. I do it myself a lot, guys, so I know you guys probably do it too. I'm not embarrassed to say I'm. you're not the only one. I do it all the time, so I'm giving that tail plenty of free space because I always assume I'm out of the range of it and then I'm getting whacked with it anyway. Now, don't be afraid to throw these out there once in a while, guys. Get your traps down. Even if you are going to capture him, you can always go back to base and get more traps when he's dying. Careful when he is in this trap, because the stun one, he actually just stays electrocuted in, and this one he will attack you in, so don't try to be in front of him. Try not to be on the sides of him either, because some of his attacks can actually hit you on the side. But if you're relatively kind of, you know, cornered in the back of him or directly behind him, you should be alright, but again... Not guaranteeing that, just be careful when you're hitting him in a trap. Palico put down another trap, so he went into back-to-back -back traps again. I couldn't guard that tail. See, this is what I was telling you guys, I couldn't dodge that. Even if I wanted to roll, I couldn't roll away from him, I couldn't roll to the sides. He was gonna hit me. You need a shield or some way to block some attacks, because sometimes you're just not gonna be able to get out of the way of it. It's impossible to miss every attack, no matter how good of a dodger you are. You're gonna get nailed once in a while. That's why I have a shield class, because I know I can't get away from it sometimes. And even though he might break my sharpening, I'd rather him break that than my life and my feints and everything else. I can always resharpen it, not a big deal. Guard point that. Which also charges me up, so now I'm in the red, I have two ultimates built up. Uh, I trade hits with him right there, I was hoping that... Uh, he wouldn't hit me with it, and I was going to throw an ultimate next, but he knocked me back. Try to get one here before he turns around. If I have to trade with him, I will. I'm not worried about it with the amount of health I got. Got a lucky knock out of it, so we're going to go right into another one. I didn't guard point that one because I didn't have time to. I wasn't sure I was going to get the shield up fast enough because I didn't know if I was going to get the shield up fast enough means you definitely aren't going to be able to dodge it in time. <laughs> Again, you need a shield. Get another guard point there. I was hoping to hit him with this, but he didn't, but I still got a charged sword out of it, so I don't have to do that again anyway. It would have been nice to hit him with it, but I really just wanted it charged up. I didn't really care if it hit him. Shield's worn out, so we're going to get that back up. Otherwise, that would have been an ultimate I would have thrown right there. 
Palico got me another blinder down if I need it. I don't know why I whiffed that one. <laughs> don't ask me what was going on there. I probably could have dodged that one, but again, because I have a shield class, I can take advantage of blocking as much as I want to. I don't have to worry about trying to do dodges and wondering if I'm just going to get out of the way of it or not. Might as well just block it. Getting a little messed up here, but my mantle's good to go again, so this will actually be able to stop me from any bull he could probably throw at me right now. So I can still have plenty of time to get my health up. Even if he hit me, it wouldn't stop me from healing, so... Now he's going to try and feed. We're not going to let him do that. This is where my get out of jail free card works. We're going to blind him, stop him from doing that. I like him being exhausted, so we don't want to ruin that. I'm going to mess him up a little bit. We'll throw a couple more ultimates on him. Now that one I couldn't block or dodge. I tried blocking it, but I didn't even get the shield up in time for that one. Sometimes you're just going to have to take the hit. Luckily I had a mantle out, so we're good to go there barely did any damage to me. Here I am again trying to get a lot of mounts off of him. He's right next to a perfect mounting area, so again, take advantage of those mounts because you'll get a free ultimate off of them sometimes. And by sometimes, I mean you saw last time I didn't even get to finish him. He just knocked over before I did a finisher, but you know, if you do get to finish him, you get a free finisher out of it, and he can't stop you from doing it. <laughs> So take advantage of that because obviously he takes a lot of hits. Right now I'm just hitting this little guy to cheese some uh, bars out of there. I could have kept hitting him and got my next files read for two ultimates locked in, but not too worried about it. I'm just trying to get you know the point across of what you guys need to be looking for. Even if you're not a charge blade class, everything else I'm saying every class can still do. You know you can still take your moxie, you can still bring these items to combat, you can still use traps. I suggest having a defensive class so you can block, but even if you don't, you know you better be able to move quickly. I would play tag with them. Hit them and get out of there. Don't stand still for too long because he will hit you with stuff. You can even use the trees and environmental stuff for shields if you don't have one, i.e. right here. That totally would have hit me because obviously I blocked a little too soon, but <laughs> I was behind the tree so it didn't matter. Got him in a trap here so he lets me throw another ultimate on him. A lot of these aren't landing as perfectly as they could be, so I mean even with a little bit more optimizing you could definitely do more damage than I'm doing here. I'm just trying to get the point across of how easy this really can be if you know what you're doing. Guard point. Guard point. But I did it and missed. Well, I think he missed me, actually. Probably would have hit if he had connected. Guard point that one. He's charging me up by doing this, and, well, I'm not stunning him now. The shield's not glowing, unfortunately, anymore, but... Now this may not be for my class because I don't burn out stamina a lot, but I still eat these things all the time when you see those on the ground, the little larvas, because they still will help your stamina bar. You know, if you happen to be in the area of one, definitely take it. It'll help, you know, especially if I'm guarding a lot, like if I'm blocking back to back to back attacks, he won't chew that stamina bar out of me. Kinda not sure how I landed that one, but again, we'll take it, because that's the point. Get those lands, mount them. But yeah, if you have to block a lot, or if you have to run a lot, and you're trying to get away, you know, having those larvas on the map again, it just happened to be there. I wouldn't take it normally, but because we're in the area, I'm just going to grab it. Now here's where I get my free finisher. He can't even stop me, so there you go. I'll do the damage to the tail, because I kind of want the tail to come off. Unfortunately, I only have two files here, but I know I don't have enough time to charge it and hit him with it before he gets up, because he's already up. Palico throwing extra traps down, as you saw, like, 20 seconds ago there. Just randomly, they keep popping out, which always helps stop him for a minute and gets me more free attacks. Now, this is the first time I've actually uh, fought him and actually seen him drop dragon pods. I wasn't sure if this would take him out of angered form or not. So I just figured I'd just send him all his way and see what it does. Maybe it does, maybe I didn't have enough or didn't hit him right to actually see, but... 
Alright, see here's where I'm blocking back-to-back -back attacks. There's no way I could dodge it, and it would have screwed anyone else up who couldn't block. He would have gotten all chewed up right there. This is why you need a defensive class. And also why the larva came in handy, because I was able to take all of his hits before my stamina burned out, because if I had no stamina and I was still blocking, it would have chewed my health. Get another blinder down. Throw a free attack out. He's gonna attack. I might have been able to dodge that, but it was so close that I even got my shield up. Again, that would have been another hit you would have taken if you didn't have a defensive class. You may not like defensive classes or have ever played or trained with them, but now would be a good time to start, guys. You know, I don't always use daggers and great swords and things like that all the time either, but I have classes for great swords. I, I actually use a great sword, especially now that they got the new one out. It's really cool. And I've used the switch axe, and I also use daggers. I don't use them often, and also, obviously in most of my videos it's all charge blade stuff. This is my primary class. You know, this is also a good all-around class because I can fight anything and I don't have to worry about ever really being killed. <laughs> but I do use the other classes, but this is not a fight I would use those classes in. You know, even if you guys primary your own particular weapons that you like, you know, I would still just get a secondary of some sort of defense build so that way you can fight fights like this. <laughs> yeah. Fights like this you want to be more of a tank than more of an aggressor because he's clearly the aggressor here. <laughs> you know, there's no taking that role away from him. That's that's what he's going to do. He's going to constantly be in a pissed off state and always be in the angered state, which is also why I have the agitator stuff on because it just wore off now actually. But he always, like, I mean, look how long it's going to take. It's going to be, like, seconds. I mean, he's stunned right now because he's exhausted. But it usually takes, like, seconds in between it. He doesn't wait very long, and he goes right back to pissed off again. So having the agitator bonus will also add to, uh, you know, your attack. Whenever he's angry, then you're going to get angry. Like, oh, now I'm mad, and he's going to puff up and glow red. And you're like, that's fine. Now my attack boost is going to go up. You want to be mad? We'll hit you harder. And this is a good fight to have Agitator on. If you guys got an Agitator build, I don't have one. I just have a couple levels of the Agitator. But if you actually have an Agitator build that you use for, like, monsters that get pissed frequently, this would be a good fight to use it in because he's almost always the whole fight mad. <laughs> Which means you're constantly going to have an Agitator boost. Those damn Gajalakas just knocked me over when I was trying to take his tail off. <laughs> It's rare, but a couple of times I've taken the tail off the uh, Golden Devil Joe here, but I try not to really focus on just uh, doing my duty as a, you know, what do they call it, a uh, severing weapon and go for the tail like I'm supposed to. In this fight, I'm just trying to survive it and take him down. That's my focus. I don't care if tails and stuff come off. Mantle's good to go again, so we're going back on with that. Make sure health is up and stamina is up. I didn't run all the way over here and burn myself out. That would have been stupid. That's why I stopped before we came here to make sure the stamina got back up. I don't know why I threw that out there. Not only did I whiff it, but I let him attack me because there was no getting out of that. Luckily, I had the mantle on, so it didn't do a whole lot of damage. And even if he hits me now, he still can't do a whole lot of damage. Or he can't stop me from healing anyway. Palico coming in handy with another trap there, stopping him from his attack and letting me get mine out. He's about to throw this out. I know I can do this attack, which will slide me away from it, and I swing at the same time. Again, know your classes, guys, because I know a lot of classes have evade attacks where you can evade sideways attack, evade back attack, evade forward attack. My class in particular is one of those ones that have it, so if I know I need to get out of dodge and attack, I can do that. It will come in handy. We're going to Batman on out of here because now his health is done. He has a skull. This fight is already over and won. We don't need to fight him anymore. I'm going to come back here replenish the traps that I used on him, so we're gonna just go back to my basic class here. It's my normal uh, capture loadout that I use. And we're gonna go get this uh, capture. 
Hopefully I did a good job of breaking it down for you guys. I did a little bit of talking there, mostly during a lot of the fight, I guess, but, uh, you know, get that moxie when you eat, you know, use a voucher will guarantee that you get the moxie. Um, I took a health, uh, um, what was it? Not the ancient one, but the, uh, max health one, max potion or whatever it is, the yellow one, at the beginning of the fight to get me the extra 50. So I have three vitality gems, which gives me 50, and then I took, uh, max health at the beginning, which gave me another 50. So I have 100 boost off the bat. And then obviously with the food, you get the 50 extra stamina and the moxie. You need that to start this. The next thing you need, I would highly highly recommend some sort of a defensive class i can't say that enough you need to be able to block or sometimes he is going to whale you and sometimes you're going to get killed because he hits hard and if he hits you with one of his ultimates you're probably going to go down regardless of your health and if not he's going to knock you out and then he's going to follow up with killing you <laughs> so get a defensive build now i was going to sit here and wait for him to come over to this trap and then I paid for it because I wasn't expecting him to throw a rock at me or to get knocked off the tree, so now we gotta go all the way back up. But yeah, get a defensive build. If you guys can do it without one, awesome, and kudos to you for being able to do that. But the ones, this video is mostly for people who are struggling. I would suggest defensive build. Get a shield, a big one, not sword and shield, not great sword. Get something that if you're not good enough that you can do this on your own just yet, or he's slaughtering you over and over and over, get a big shield defensive class and learn how to use it. <laughs> I'm gonna get another trap out here, so we can get this over with already, wake him up, come on. I'll throw the axe on you, cut your tail off. <laughs> These idiots are in the way. Oh, and now I'm scrolled over too far, and I'm not on the right trap. Hang on, oh, then it wore off, of course, so now it's not going to work. Yay! Oh, boy. <laughs> I could Batman on out of here and go get me a uh, another one back at the camp, but you know what? Because he's Double Joe, I know he will follow me to the ends of the earth, so just walk him back to the other trap so that way I didn't waste it. But yeah, guys, that food... Get that moxie, get a defensive class. When you got those two things, hopefully you know a good defensive armor build layout, good gems you can use. I mean, if you want to mock mine, go for it. Get a good weapon, get all that stuff set up for yourself. After that, learn his attacks, learn his moves, know when to block. If you have guard points like I do, know when to guard point it. You know, if you know his attacks often enough, you can guard point everything he does and throw an instant ultimate back out at him or whatever, or counter it, get out of there, whatever you need to do. You know, the mantles will help. Whatever you use for the palicles up to you, I would suggest mine, but if you know something that's going to work better for you, go with that. Well, that's Tempered Devil Joe, guys. Good luck. I hope it helps. This is Craziness Gaming, over and out, guys. <laughs>